Hurricane Kiko is looking more and more like it's going to pass well to the north of the island chain, and the main impacts that we're expecting from this storm now that it's going to pass to our north is large surf and very humid weather out there as Kiko cuts us off from the trade winds. Let's take a look at the latest track from the National Hurricane Center. You can see out there, this is the 5 p.m. track that they released on Saturday. It's got 140 mile per hour winds and is moving west northwestward at 12 miles per hour, but it's entering a very hostile environment for tropical cyclone development. So it's going to go from a category four to a category three on Sunday, category two on Monday, and then category one and a tropical storm as it's well to the north of the state. We may not even see some areas seeing rain in the latest weather models out there. I do want to take a quick look at Kiko on the satellite imagery because it looks very intimidating out there. You can very clearly see the eye on the satellite scan just showing how intense of a storm it is out there. It is a smaller than average hurricane, but like I mentioned, it's moving into cooler waters and it will move into drier air and stronger wind shear out there that should tear the storm apart. Taking a look at the chance for tropical storm force winds out there, the strongest winds are expected to remain well over open ocean and will also cut us off from the trade winds as we go into next week. You can see this green color right here that is right over the island chain. That is a 10% chance for tropical storm force winds out there. So really, we're not expecting this to be a wind event. Really, it's going to be a no wind event for us and it's going to get very humid across the island chain. So of course, the new weather model trend that we've been talking about over the past couple of days, keeping Kiko well to our north. Just taking a look at the spaghetti models, there's even more northward than Friday and Thursday's models. There's still some spread out there, but we're starting to see the spread spread further northward. So again, the spaghetti plots are starting to show that that track is going further northward. The worst case scenario that we can see in the weather models today is that more southward track, which is looking more and uh, really less likely out there. Outer band rainfall, if we do see this move further southward, minor flooding, if any, and of course, big surf. The best case scenario, which we're expecting, will be that more northward track. It'll be over open water, no major impacts, elevated surf, and pop-up showers. You can actually see in the wave heights right now that over where Kiko is right here, you can see it on the wave height uh, graphic that I have. We're seeing around 30 feet wave heights in the center of the storm. Of course, that's not the type of surf that we're expecting as it gets closer, but we'll likely see high surf advisories in uh, on east facing shores as we're going into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. A quick look at one of the models. This is the European model. You can barely even see Kiko on it as we're going forward. It's well off to the northeast right up here. So it seems like this is going to pass well to our north. Of course, we still have to be vigilant. We're watching this very closely. Make sure to stay tuned to us for the latest impacts.